Okay, we're going to get started painting this. This is episode two. I am painting from this one, the town folk two, and it's one of the figures that will come in the Reaper Kickstarter. And I'm going to have trouble getting it to focus on it, but it is a winch is what it's called, I believe. We are going to start off by actually putting it on a good old dollop of blue tack on there. This is just a wood board I've got to put on. This is so I can switch them easily if I want to paint. And I'm using an old prescription bottle to do that. <coughs> and we'll set that aside for a second. I've got some fair skin 9047. This will come in the paint set one. We're just going to do two drops, well, two drops in a little bit of that. And I've got my clean water here. Do maybe one drop. We'll see how that mixes up. And eh, that's probably good enough. And the reason I'm starting with the skin first is because I got to do that eye and that eye will cause me trouble like it always does but there we go start off a little paint brush off the extra start someplace where it won't really matter and we'll just do the leg this is pretty thin paint so you probably have to go over more than once I don't intend to record all of me me painting all of the skin because that would just be monotonous and wouldn't really add anything but I figure just the first few strokes on here to show that yes I'm actually painting it I know me paint ha 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 I don't paint that often that's why it's funny to me try to paint a lot but it just doesn't seem to get there oh I should mention too that the Reaper bones are coming a white and you don't have to primer them but this is a metal figure so you do have to prime and I've got an article up on cool mini or not on why I'll be priming my bones figures when they get in mostly I just like seeing being able to see the details, I sit down and plan out what colors I'm going to do. And it helps to kind of see the contrast. If there's solid white, you really wouldn't see that much detail popping in. <coughs> That's just an easy way to view things. And I think I did clean off. That's another problem with metal figures is that they have seam lines. Well, I guess the bones are going to have seam lines too, so it's all just a matter of what we're going to do. And for the first couple of base coats, you can really get pretty sloppy with the paint because usually you're going over it of course if you're going over with a black first like if you're on the rats that I showed earlier in the previous video you know, black would probably not be the best color to start with oh, let's try to get her face in there we're gonna be able to get it some you know there's if you've never painted a mini before there's a big debate on if you should paint the areas where no one will see, like you know, holding it upside down and underneath the chin. <clears throat> My philosophy is paint wherever you can get it. You never know who's going to hold it up and look at it differently. And that'll probably upset some people by not washing my brush nearly enough. A lot of people well, I've read 
but you really should rinse your brush out fairly often. So I'll do a quick swish, dry it off on the coffee filter, and then back into the paint. Now, Windsor Newton can hold a lot of paint, so I like using it for base coats. But you know, use what you've got. Of course, if I was reading, watching another video today, and had good advice on drawing that if you're fighting your tool, then it's not a good tool. But the tool won't help you. So if you just go straight out and buy a hundred dollar brush, if you can find a hundred dollar brush, it's not going to make you a good painter. So don't be afraid to start simply and get a handle for what you're doing. And then when those brushes wear out, which all brushes do, if you can afford it and feel like it, buy a nice brush. They are nice. Like I said in the previous video, I do use, tend to use the Raphael for a lot more details. Oh, forgot her arm over here. And this is kind of turning into a brush stroke by brush stroke. But, you know, we'll work with it. Don't think there's any limit to the number of videos I can make. It's just people's patience and watching me paint. I watch a lot of gaming YouTube videos, and half the fun is just listening to them talk. Fortunately, I'm not that interesting yet. I'll gather my YouTube voice at some point, but right now I'm nervous as all heck. You can see my hands shaking. I'm a rather shy person, so this is like talking in front of people. Once I get used to it, it's fine, but while I'm doing it, ugh, ow, shoot. Get the inside of her arm. I'm certain I'll be halfway through this video series and find some place. We got a little hair right there. Let's see if I can get that. Hope I got it. Wash the brush off again. I probably haven't been even wiping the paint off excess excess paint. Uh, I don't know that we can see her foot there, so get her face again. Kind of blocking the camera there. But part of this is for me to actually sit down and paint. If I've got people waiting to see a video. that I might paint a little more often. Okay. Get our leg one more time. Slot in back there. And one good way to figure out if you've missed a spot is to go ahead and take a really nice picture of the mini. I've done that so many times and seen the mistake right after I took the picture. Or at least viewed it on the computer and okay, I gotta go back and get that. I think it's too high up here. I think that's all. I'll get a little back behind her leg right there. That was probably a little bit more runny than it needed to be. We'll get that later. The little nooks and crannies are an important spot to get to. They always seem to be missed by my
And I may eventually put like time lapse video on this, go through the boring parts or parts that I need to repeatedly do it. I should mention that you know one part of this that I'm really going to try to do hard on, or <laughs> that I'm going to emphasize is shading. I only recently learned how to shade properly, so I'm not exactly a superb person at doing it. But we'll get to that after this video. I think that's good for one coat. We'll call that good. We'll let that dry and post up the video of it. And we'll work on doing shades and highlights on her next.